How's it going everybody? NBG here and it's been a little bit over a week since we've uploaded a video, since I've uploaded a video and a um, bunch of reasons why. First of all, my finals for this semester are coming up so um, I haven't had a whole lot of time. I've been buried with homework and papers to write so <clears throat> that's been sucking up a lot of the spare time I've had. I'm like white right now, like I am Caucasian. I'm, oh shit, I'm like super Caucasian. This, I just broke a pocket knife, look at this. I don't know, how, how do you break, how does one break a pocket knife? Like, what in the f <laughs> Okay, one sec. Still kind of late. Anyways, um, <laughs> so that's reason number one, school's been sucking up all my free time. Reason number two, I was sick in the past week. <clears throat> um, nothing serious, just like throat and nose stuff to the point where commentary was probably terrible and torturous for you guys to listen to, so I didn't even record. Um, thirdly, uh, work. I work at Target, and this is known as fourth quarter. It's basically the time period between Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, it's where all these people shop. Therefore, I am, you know, stuck with a lot of hours and whatnot to do. So, there's more free time sucked up. So, with the little amount of time I had, my, uh, computer, my Windows 7 decided to update, which is awesome. You know, Windows 7 updating is, is awesome because it happens all the time. And my antivirus software, ABG, decided to update. Cool. Again, right? Oh, here's the catch. My, um... My CPU's overclock decided to crap out mid-installation of those two um, updates. So apparently that crapped out something very important with my computer. So I had to do a fresh install of Windows 7, which is terrible because I had to reinstall Fallout New Vegas. Which, um, I have a lot of mods for Fallout New Vegas. So I am currently in the process of reinstalling Fallout New Vegas and all its mods flawlessly. And um, I have the saves still, which is pretty cool. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, and as a result of my windows crashing out, my I was angry when it first happened, and I grabbed my mouse like this, and I went <laughs> like that. I was so mad, but what that did was, for my Razer Naga, was it broke it. Um, that's another reason why we didn't make any <laughs> videos in the past week. This little bastard um, works perfectly. All the buttons work. Laser actually detects vertical movement but not horizontal movement so I can only move the mouse up and down um, I guess the weight the the artificial <laughs> every mouse has a weight inside of it just to like I don't know make it heavier for whatever reason but the weight is loose in this one and I think it fucked with the laser so you guys hear that that's not the wiring inside <laughs> that is the weight inside the mouse itself now there's ways to fix this um, I don't have the tools or experience or knowledge on how to do it. Um, you need like soldering and shit. So if you know how to fix this, you know, personal message me and maybe I'll send it to you because it's a waste of a mouse. It, it works great. It still lights up. Everything's great about it. It's just, ew, it's broken. So I, um, I can't record without this mouse. I got so used to all these little hotkeys on the side of it. And the one I'm using now is a Logitech. It's a piece of shit. It's it weighs nothing, so I kind of understand why there's weights in my. Um, it only has, you know, only three buttons on it, where my other one had 17, and I can't use any hotkeys on it, so it sucks. So, I bought oof, this. It's still spider or not spider wrapped. It's fucking Target. It is bubble wrapped, and. It's the Razer Naga 2014 edition, I think. I don't even know. Looked nice, though. I was going to get the Razer Hex, but uh, it lacked the hotkeys on the side. I think it only had six. The games I play, I need at least eight. So, And I got it for real cheap off their site because it's a return. Um, there it is. It has all this shit on it because, like I said, it's a return. Um, brand new, basically just a return. So, oh, 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 looks pretty nice. This is the one that is very ergonomical, apparently. It's just the new addition to the Raisin Naga Molten or whatever. But, there's your comparison. This one looks cooler than Naga, but, I mean the Molten. But, um, it's broken. 
This one, the, the new 2014 is actually a little bit smaller too, it seems. So, uh, I guess we'll find out how I like it. Like, it's, it's, it's smaller in length, but it's wider. So it's basically a chode of a mouse compared to my fucking... Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, it, this thing wasn't even fucking used. Still has all the little knobs on the m rubber. Right, let's take it out of its plastic shit. Ah, there it is. Ooh, wow. Oh, it smells so new. Wow. This is a really nice fucking mouse right here. Let me turn this off. Maybe that'll... I don't know if that helped or not. So it's going to light up green right there. I don't know if you can see the razor thing. There's the buttons on the side. They're kind of indented more. Wow, that feels... Listen to this. These are the little buttons on the side. That's very mechanical feeling. I like it. The other one was kind of mushy and yuck. And then the mouse buttons themselves. Scroll wheel. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Like rice. Um, let's pull the other. Let's pull the molten out and do a comparison. So here's the difference. It's actually. Uh, not as big of a difference as I thought. This one in the length department is just as long. Actually, the, this one's actually longer. It looked shorter in every video I saw. And it's definitely thicker. So this is the Molten. This is the new 2014. They removed the buttons that were right here. These weird buttons. To here. And this middle mouse wheel actually goes side to side for two more buttons. So this has 19 buttons, this has 17 buttons. But listen to this. I don't even know if you can hear that. I'm pressing the buttons on the side. I'm pressing these buttons right here. Now if I do these, they are nice and loud. Um, but here's what I meant with the laser inside rattling. Yeah, it's bad. I can hear a lot of small pieces rattling in there too. But like I said, it works fine it's just like I tried taking it off as you could see but it <laughs> didn't work too well man this one's nice though I must say oh wow it has like a little rubber right here I know this camera isn't doing justice but this is rubber right here like straight up rubber this is like a rough plastic and this is like a rubberized surface where this is like a gloss Wow. Definitely better. So I got this for $60. It was, um, you know, a return. Not refurbished, just a return. Um, off Newegg. For 62 bucks, I think, with shipping and all that jazz. Not bad, though. Should be easy to get used to. <laughs> That's pretty much it, though. I guess we could start recording now that we have our gear back and everything's working now.